Hello world, Krista here with Books and Jams, and today I have a long overdue unboxing to do for you. A couple months ago, I reached out to Page Habit and asked if they would send me a box so that I could talk about it on my channel. I'm not usually that bold, but I did, and they were super kind and sent me a box. And this is the first box that I received. Hello world, Krista here with Books and Jams, and I am very excited today to have this special unboxing for you from Page Habit. I did not quite have enough subscribers to work with them, but they were very gracious and sent me this box to see if any of you would be interested. I just wanted to share about this company with you. There are so many subscription boxes out there. There's a couple things that make Page Habit unique and I would like to share those with you. So before I go any farther, let me just open the box. One of the things that I love about them is that you can choose the genre that you would like to receive, either quarterly or monthly. There are a few different choices for the quarterly boxes than the monthly boxes, but if maybe subscribing to a monthly box is not an option for you financially, looking into their quarterly box might be something that you would like to do. I did request the historical fiction box, and this, I believe, was their September box. So I'm a little late in opening it, but here we go. I'm going to see if I can show you first. Snap, give, read. One of the things that I love about Page Habit and Quarterly is that they do donate some of their proceeds towards um, some literacy organizations around the world. And so in each box that you get, you will see where that month's donation is going to. So this one you can see is to Dahlia Togo, which I've never heard of, but it's a country in Africa. And it just gives a lot of information about the country and some demographics about literacy and schooling, how many males and females are in school. So they will be sending books to the town of Dahlia in Togo, which is super exciting if you ask me. Books are important as we all know. Then there is a letter, which I'm not going to read yet, that is from the author. So now we're getting into the box and another thing that I love about these boxes is that the author has annotated the book that gets sent to you. So I'm going to start by showing you the book and it says, check inside for Jeffrey Ford's notes. I have never heard of this author. It's called The Twilight Pariah by Jeffrey Ford. So I think I was sent the mystery thriller box slash horror because this does not sound like a historical fiction. It sounds like a group of friends go on a college vacation and come across some things that they did not expect to find and then their lives are forever changed. And I did read the back a little bit. I don't want to read the back anymore because it sounds super creepy. But what I do love, as I mentioned, is that throughout the book there are notes little sticky notes of notes from the author, which I think are incredibly cool. So I am not sure if I'm going to read this book. Also in the book is a short story called Holiday by Terry Lecker. Comes with a nice laminated bookmark, which is fantastic. And the quote on this says, the love of books is a love which requires neither justification, apology, nor defense. And ain't that the truth? It's really pretty on the back. That's lovely. And then there is a nice little fox coaster. There is a little patch. It says time traveler. Then we have a little notepad and pen. So the notepad is this little wood block. I don't know what I'm going to do with that, but it's kind of fun to have. All right. So that is all. Oh no, there's one more thing here. A pin. So this says comic. Let's see if you can see that without the glare. There's a little pin and a patch. Where am I gonna put these? Tell me. <laughs> Where do you put yours? All right, that is all of the things that came in this lovely box from Page Habit. And then a couple weeks later, I opened my door to discover another box, which I have no idea which one this is. I'm hoping it's historical fiction because as you saw, they sent me a horror thriller mystery. I'm not sure what the category is. I haven't read that book yet. And although I was disappointed, I couldn't be that disappointed because it was out of the kindness of their hearts that they were sending it to me anyways. So I am gonna open another one for you and I have no idea what's inside, and I'm very excited to let you know what category this book is. I love with this subscription box, you do have the opportunity to choose which genre you would like to read. So that is something that is a lot of fun. Let's not wait any longer, and let's just get right into it. Okay, here we go. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, doke. Okay, there's gonna be fall stuff in here because like I said, I should have opened this in the fall. 
So before I even look at the book, the first thing on the top right here is a letter from the author. How fun that you get to read a personal note from the author. I am not going to read this yet though. Next thing on the box is this nice bookmark. I always need more bookmarks because I read a lot of books all at once. So <laughs> I'm always looking for a bookmark. Then something as you saw in the previous video that I love about Page Habit is that some of the proceeds from all of their subscription boxes go towards literacy projects around the world. And for this box, the donations, this is for October. Guys, I'm so sad that it took me so long to open this. But in October, they donated to the Democratic Republic of Congo. So there are some demographics and facts about the Congo and about their project that they are supporting. That is super cool. All right, then let's just look at the book. There's a note on the front that says, look inside for my annotations. Wiley Cash is the author, and this is called The Last Ballad. Ooh, this is a nice cover. It has a weird, like almost linen feel to it. All right, so this book, I've never heard of this or seen this. Super cool, there is a map inside, so it takes place in a Gaston County in North Carolina. Let's see what this is about. So this is a novel that is inspired by true events. It says, six days a week, Ella Mae Wiggins makes the two mile trek to and from her job on the 12 hour night shift at American Mill Number no. two in Bessemer County, North Carolina. Her husband has run off again and she must keep her four children alive with whatever she can find. It's 1929 and the insular community ins expects the mill's owners to pay the workers less because they toil alongside African Americans like Violet, Ella Mae's best friend. While the dirty hazardous job earns Ella May a paltry $9 a week, it's the only opportunity she has. When union leaflets begin circulating, Ella May has a rare taste of hope, a yearning for the better life the organizers promise. But the mill owners claim the union is a front for the communist menace sweeping across Europe and they will resort to bloodshed to prevent workers from banding together. On the night of an important rally, Ella May, weighing the costs of her long hours in the empty bellies of her children, makes up her mind to join the movement, a decision that will have lasting consequences for all that she loves. 75 years later, Ella May's daughter Lily, now an elderly woman, tells her nephew about his grandmother and the events that transformed their family, illuminating the most painful corners of their history. She reveals for the first time the tragedy that befell Ella May after that fateful union meeting. This looks like it's gonna have two timelines and be about the union, beginning of the unions in 1929 and some kind of tragedy that happens to their family. Oh. And again, one of the things I love about this book is that throughout the story, there will be little notes and annotations from the author all throughout it. So I am so thrilled to have this book and I just am so thankful to Paige Habit. So let's see what else is in this box. There is a short story here by Jean Copeland called Nightingale. That's kind of fun. Little short story. I don't know what this is. It's a library card, but what is it? <laughs> I don't even know. Oh, how cute. This is a pillowcase. <laughs> that is a pillowcase from Page Habit that is like a library card. That's awesome. I am going to use this in my library. I have a library in my house, which I'm gonna be showing you that soon as well. Oh, there's a little pumpkin keychain in here as well that I'm assuming if I pull this tab, this little tab on here will light up, but I'm gonna save that for next fall. I'm gonna pack it away with my fall things. Again, super sorry for waiting so long to open this. All right, here are the things. I received from Page Habit. I'm gonna put a link to Page Habit down below. If, if you are looking into gifting a subscription box to somebody for Christmas, or if you're interested in getting this subscription box for yourself, I'm gonna be saving up some money so that a few months throughout 2018, I can purchase another box because I just think it's so great that they, number one, have annotations from the author, and number two, donate some of the proceeds to different literacy projects around the world. So I am thrilled to share this with you. I would love for you in the comments to let me know if you've ever checked out Page Habit before or quarterly and if you think that that's something that you might like to do. I'd love to chat with you in the comments and I'll be talking to you soon in another video. Bye!